The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics with one half to Arthur Ashkin for the optical tweezers and their application to biological systems. And the other half jointly to Gerard Moreau and Donna Strickland for their method of generating high-intensity, ultra-short optical pulses. This announcement made Dr. Donna Strickland the first woman in 55 years to win a Nobel for physics and American physicist Arthur Ashkin the oldest man to win the award. Dr. Strickland's breakthrough in laser technology also made her the third woman ever to win the honour for physics. Mary Curie won the prize in 1903 and Maria Gopet Meyer in 1963. Born in Canada in 1959, Dr. Strickland received her first degree in physics in 1981, graduating from McMaster University. She is currently an associate professor at the University of Waterloo and has spent much of her life studying and teaching physics. People keep asking first about the LASIK surgery, which is still the number one uh, use of the thing. It's not for, the, for those of you who've had LASIK <coughs> surgery, it is a UV laser that, that recuts uh, your cornea. It is cutting the cornea flap that this laser has worked on. And that was back in the 90s, so it was just 10 years after we first did CPA. I certainly heard about it just as that was happening and thought it was amazing at the time that uh, I could have done a laser that was definitely being thought of um, for doing atomic and molecular physics. Right? When we were doing it, we just knew that what we were trying to do was get the electric field beyond the electric field that holds the electron to the atom. So that's what we were trying to do and so that for somebody else could turn it around and, and just get a good use out of it, that's great. Joint award winner Dr. Gerard Moreau is known for his work on high-intensity lasers. Born on June 22, 1944, 76-year-old Dr. Moreau is currently a more distinguished university professor emeritus at the University of Michigan, where he has taught for over 16 years. After getting his PhD from Pierre and Marie Curie University in 1973, Dr. Moreau went to the University of Rochester where he later worked with Dr. Strickland on their Nobel winning work. Dr. Strickland and Dr. Moreau co-invented chirped pulse amplification. This is a method of generating high-intensity ultra-short optical pulses. The invention has a variety of applications including corrective laser eye surgery. It is also used in semiconductor manufacturing and solid state hard drives. C'est complètement euh, c'est c'est plein d'émotions hein, euh, qu'on ressent effectivement et puis euh, bon on a l'impression que évidemment dans il y a quelque chose qui a changé qui va changer dans votre vie euh, c'est très impressionnant. C'est très impressionnant là que je peux, je peux dire. Euh, on va pouvoir faire justement euh, l'étude l'interaction euh, laser-matière à des niveaux de puissance, des niveaux d'intensité qui sont euh, considérables, un million, un milliard de fois plus important que ce qui se fait normalement. Donc, euh, quand en physique on change les, les paramètres d'un facteur 1000, un million, un milliard, il y a toujours des choses qui se passent. On découvre. C'est là on peut découvrir. 96-year-old American physicist Arthur Ashkin, an affiliate of Bell Laboratories in New Jersey, he was awarded for his invention of optical tweezers which uses pressure from a highly focused laser beam to manipulate microscopic objects including living organisms like viruses and bacteria. It was obvious to many, many people that tweezers was a very powerful technique and they've been using it for many years, especially this guy from, uh, from Stanford and his students, and he has dozens of students, but they paid no attention to it. So when they finally uh, woke up, I was surprised. And besides, they like young people. You have to be alive yeah. to win the Nobel Prize. The inventions of these three scientists date back to the mid-1980s. Over the years, they have revolutionized laser physics. Dr. Arthur Ashkin will receive half the monetary prize worth nearly $1 million, while Dr. Muru and Dr. Strickland will split the remainder. Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV.